Hey everybody, Teching here, blah 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 spoilers. Honestly, if this is the first one of these videos you're watching, I don't know how to help you. Okay, let's do this! Wow, if Aizen ever fights Yuha seriously, it is going to be the biggest dick measuring contest in history. So he got stronger while in prison for the past two years. Does that make any sense? No, of course it doesn't, but it's Aizen we're talking about here. You just take logic and... Yeah, basically. Also, chair sama. Ha, <laughs> chum on. So we just got totally betrayed by Yuha, so if we could, like, bum a ride to the Soul Palace, you know, that'd be totes malotes, bro. <gasps> Grim Chow! <gasps> Neliel! Riruka. Yeah, okay, first Asnot, and now Yuha. What is with Kubo's obsession with characters that ooze black goo? I don't want your black goo on me! Keep it away! Hey, come on in, guys. No big deal. Don't mind us. We just did a little bit of redecorating up here. Okay, so basically what I can gather from this is that the Nazis have invaded heaven. Okay, you know you came up with a pretty boss character when he has him stop for a coffee break while being chased by Grimjow motherfucking Jaggerjack. You got a friend in me. Oh, you got a friend in me. Yuha burned down my family's home. Jugo's uncle touched him, then he got pwned. Oh, you got a friend in me. The man, the myth, the legend, the horse. No, seriously, I want to know what's up with that horse. Yeah, okay, Hashwalt is the chosen Quincy of legend. What, what the fuck ever, I don't care. Who gives two shits about that? The horse. Where is this horse at right now, and why is it not kicking ass? Well, you just effectively showed off all the cool things you can do. Thanks for playing, Basby. You're free to die now. Aw, shame on you kids for waking up Yuha during his nappy nap. Also, zombie boy girl is dead? Ha, <laughs> I don't think so. Wait, whoa, whoa. You mean Kempachi just suffered a crippling injury that's going to take him out of the majority of this fight? Ha. <laughs> Kubo, you're seriously thinking out of the box on this one. Ah, yes, the hooded enigma that is Pernita Punkjoss. What is it? Alien? Lizard monster? Big-breasted Japanese schoolgirl? Oh, a giant hand. Huh. Okay. Um... Yeah, that, that was my 57th guess, to, to be fair. Okay, Mayori, you're getting way too turned on by fighting this thing. Or maybe not enough, depending where your fetish meter lies. I think, it, think, think it's pretty much off the charts. Okay, so his Bonkai is now a giant baby that gives birth via C-section to another giant baby that can feel so much pain that it's in a perpetual state of agony. Like, I know I've said this before and we should all know this at this point, but Mayuri is seriously fucked up in the head! Aw, Chibi Nemu is so kawaii. Damn, grown-up Nemu has huge t- I mean, Namuri Nanago uses her unlocked abilities to be over 9,000 and releases a Kamehameha directly in Pernita's, um, eye, palm, heart, place. Yeah! Oh, rest in peace, you beautiful purpled-haired artificial being. Hey, guys! Toshiro's back! Yeah, don't chase shadows. Make friends with reflections. Aw oh, man, Lilia's second eye! What's it gonna be, guys? Is it gonna be have like a big scar or or maybe like a robotic sensor or maybe the sharring gone and oh it's just a just a normal eye. Uh, wow. Um I don't know what to say, Kubo. That's just you're being lazy there. Shun Sui Kyoraku's Bonkai! Okay. So um I've kind of seen this Bonkai already, so it's not like something really crazy new, but... Oh, check it out! Shoots, we just summoned an entire ocean that's going to drown him and Lilia! This seems pretty cool! And Lilia just kind of ignores it next chapter because he just feels like it doesn't work on him, so we swap that out with just a normal decapitation technique. Uh, I mean, we get to see Ohana, so that's... that's nice! Uh, am I the only one that's feeling a little bit underwhelmed by this? Right, so the uh, saving grace of this entire fight- Oh, by the way, Lilia's an owl now, by the way. Saving grace of this entire fight is going to be Nanao. I I'm not complaining about that, I just want you to make peace with it because th this is what's happening. Whoa, man, so you mean to tell me the Issei family have been the guardians of this sacred Zanpakuto for centuries, whose sole purpose is to fight against godly characters, and Lilia himself is a godly character? <laughs> You know, you know, there's a term for that in the uh, in the writing world. I I I think it's uh, Deus Ex. Go fuck yourself. Huh? You know, Nanao's mother seems like an actual interesting character. <laughs> if only we knew her name, that would be a good place to start. Oh yeah, Nanao, you charge into battle. You freaking fight. You stand perfectly still while Lilia launches an attack that just bounces off your Zanpakuto back at him and 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 finishes him off like in some final battle in a shitty RPG. Yeah. So, is uh, Izuru alive? 
dead cyborg zombie puppet? Like, wh where's that going? Also, death flamingos. So, the one time the good guys are smart and actually do the double tap on their opponent, it comes back to bite him in the ass. Kubo! You know, whatever, just keep, just keep going, whatever. Oh yeah, ask and fight. This is like one of the few things that I'm actually genuinely pumped for for the rest of this entire story. And furthermore, Yushiro arrives. <laughs> Jeez, Gerard's pretty huge. I don't know how they're gonna be able to fight him. They're gonna need a miracle or something to make that happen. There will be frost? Actually, no, there will not be frost. It'll be 75 and sunny. Instead, here's Uryu's flashback. Whoa, you mean to tell me that Uryu was still a good guy this whole time? Man, Kubo, I didn't see that coming from a mile away. I seriously didn't. You really played one on me there. You know, Kubo, this is why people love your writing, you know? You can just take a trope that's been done to death in fiction for, for, for hundreds of years and just flip it on its freaking side, you know? I never would have expected that the good guy that turned into a bad guy all of a sudden was just pretending to be one for the good guy's cause, you know? That's, that's just brilliant right there, buddy. This is sarcasm! Yeah!